Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about three different torches you can use to burn your chainsaw carvings. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe. Thanks. Like I said, we're going to be talking about three different types of torches you can use on your carvings. I'm going to start with the first one I bought and work to the one that I'm currently using now. So the first torch that I bought was just a uh, Benzomatic, what is it, TS4000. Now it just fits on a one pound propane tank, turn it on, click it, and you got fire. I figured I'd show you guys real quick kind of what it looks like to actually use it on a carving so you know what to expect if this is the route you decide to go. I know we're at a super close up here, but again, I wanted you to be able to really see it. Now, I think mine's got a little gunk in it because sometimes it flares up. So just, yeah. Anyway, we got this carving. I carved it yesterday. It's been sitting out drying. Um, usually if you let your carvings dry about a day before you hit them with a torch, they torch up a lot easier. It just allows that first layer of moisture to kind of wick away on its own. Let's uh, hit it with the torch and see how it goes. I'm not sure how well the camera is doing there. It looks pretty dark to me, but you can see the burn action from that torch just on the top there. And you guys just saw in real time how long it took. Now it didn't take very long and obviously it burned it. In the sense of time though, when you get into a big carving, you want something that can burn really fast. I think that little torch is great to get you guys started and for small carvings, even smaller than this. Once you really get into carving and you've got to start making a lot, everything is about time. You know, can you consistently make bears that look similar? Can you make them proportionate? Can you get them out and get them done? So that includes carving and sanding and burning and finishing as well. So time is a big factor in trying to make money doing this. So I think that pretty much covers everything with that torch for right now. If you guys have any questions about it, be sure to ask in the comments below. I will also be sharing links to all the torches I'm showing you today from Amazon below in the description of this video. You guys purchase anything through those links, it helps support this channel financially to help it grow and help me put out more videos for you guys. With that said, let's get in to the next torch. So the next torch we're gonna to be talking about is this one. What do you wanna call it? I don't really know. It's a Greenwood propane torch with push button ignition. This is something I picked up from Harbor Freight. It's got a little igniter right here, squeeze trigger for how much to release. It's got a little own on and off valve as well. Now this comes with a hose and it mounts to your 20 pound grill tank, which means you can get a lot more use out of this than that little one pound cylinder. The only thing is, is how big this head is. Now this torch comes in really, really cheap when you get it through Harbor Freight and it's a harbor freight tool now sometimes harbor freight tools are hit and miss this works good as a torch but that igniter it's already dead on mine i've had this torch for well, about a year and a half and i mean there's me hitting the igniter i got nothing you can get yourself one of these deals now it's on I understand you guys might not be able to see the flame there. I'm having a hard time seeing it myself, but this puts out a nice big flame that comes out about like that, which means you can burn a pretty big area all at once. The big thing though is, is how hot is that actual flame? Is it burning any faster than the small torch? And the other thing is, is it's not very precise. I mean, it's gonna burn everything with the same consistency. So, I mean, I guess it's good for a big bear, I bought it because I thought it would be great for those sort of things, and it is. Now, it doesn't always suit my needs, and that big flame is a bit uncontrollable in the sense of how big it is. Let's go ahead and turn it on and start hitting this bear, and you guys can see how this thing performs. So we'll crack this a little bit, and I'll take my igniter, and it's on. Now, 
to here, we've just got it just doing its own thing. Gives you a nice low burn. Something simple. If you go ahead and squeeze the trigger though, it releases more fuel. pretty darn quick we just did I don't know half this bear in just seconds so these torches work pretty well they are Harbor Freight so it really depends on how much do you trust Harbor Freight tools with something that hooks up to gas and creates a flame again these are found on Amazon you can buy them there or at Harbor Freight I'm gonna go ahead and put you guys up a link to uh, this torch through Amazon and uh, you guys can go there and check it out if you guys are interested in supporting this channel financially, be sure to check out my Patreon account. I have a link popping up here above. It's a place you guys can go and pledge certain amounts that will help this channel grow, help support it financially, help me get that much closer to uh, making videos and carving full time. Right now I still work a full time job and so carving and creating furniture and all these cool things is something I do on the side and I really hope to be doing it full time one day. And so your support is always welcome. Be sure to check that out. Let's go ahead and get into the next and the last torch that I have to show you guys today. So we're on the last torch that I'm gonna talk about in this video, and I would say it's probably the torch I use the most right now, and I'd say my favorite. It is also the most expensive. If you were to lay these out in price, it would actually go the Harbor Freight torch we just did, then the small one pound propane torch by Benzomatic, and then this bad boy. This is a turbo torch right here. I found this on Amazon. I actually got talking to a carver that's been carving for years and he said, you know, get rid of your one pound tank and check this thing out. Now this thing works really, really great. When you buy it online, it is expensive. I'll have some links below so you guys can check it out. But if you save up, I would say this is where you put your money at. This thing is great. Now, the other torches are great. You know, if you're on a budget, which I was when starting out carving, that's why I have the other torches because those are what I started with. So if you're there and you're starting it and you're getting those, do it, get what you can afford. That is always my motto. Buy what you can, use what you got, and get yourself going. Now, this torch, the turbo torch, hooks right up to your 20 pound grill tank as well. When you're looking down here, you've got the on and off for the grill tank, but it's also got its own on and off valve that's connected to the torch so you've got two shutoffs right here when you come on up here to the handle you've got an on and off valve here that you can adjust how much fuel is being released and how strong that flame is now another nice thing about this when i bought this kit it came with two tips it came with this small one and this one here which is a lot bigger Hopefully, there you go you guys can see them off my shirt now there is a third tip that's got an in-between size that kit can be a little tough to find. I do believe you can just buy these tips as well separate. So you guys can you know follow my link to Amazon. You can search around there once you get looking at these. The uh, <clears throat> these tips do just pop right in and out of this handle, just like that. So it's kind of like using an airline. They just pop in, pretty easy, and you're good to go, and they pop out easy for uh, swapping them in and out for different things. Now the big torch I've been using for bigger areas and the small torch I've been using for more detailed burns. We're going to go ahead and just use the small detail torch here and uh, do a little bit of burning on this bear so you guys can check it out. Now these are not self-igniting. You don't have an igniter or anything. You've got to get yourself one of these little igniter deals. You know you click it and you get some sparks and whatnot. Link down below for this stuff as well. Let's go ahead and light burning around the face. You guys see how this little torch works. 
there it is. I think you guys can hear it. Clicks on pretty easy. Again, you can't see the plane just due to all the sunshine. Well, let's go ahead and start some burn. Kind of burning around the snout. I think as you guys can see, it's a much more controlled burn. You can see how the snout's not burnt the rest of the face is. off. So depending on your guys' style carving, that little tip might come in really handy. You know, as you can see, I just did that whole top half of the bear and now I got minimal sanding to do on that snout. I personally burn the entire piece and sand it back, but the nice thing with this is after you sand it back, you can go through and darken up spots if you want and not have too much, um, normally it'd be overspray and painting, but we'll call it over flame on burning, so you're not burning more than what you want. If you guys were watching close to it, I did up here around his paws and arm and got minimal burn on this section of tree here. There is a section of tree there, it is kind of hard to see in the video I'm noticing, but section of tree here that we didn't burn a whole lot of. So that's done. Let's turn them around, give you guys a fresh backside here to look at. We're gonna go ahead and swap that bit out and we're gonna put the bigger one in. Now these cool down really fast, but still be careful because obviously fire was coming out of there and they do stay hot for a few minutes. So we just burnt that whole back really, really quick. Just from using them for a little while, I would say the Turbo Torch set burns hotter and you can get your burnings done a lot faster. Especially if you let your carving sit like overnight and it's not getting rained on, you can keep it dry. The outer layer of moisture kind of wicks away. The next day, these things burn really fast. So I try to do a day of carving and then the next day just burning and getting everything ready to be uh, brushed down, sanded or finished. Now, I understand everybody is on different budgets, and so like I said earlier, these things come in at all different price ranges. Be sure to check out the description to find those price ranges, and follow those links to Amazon. Like I said earlier, you guys purchase through there, it'll help support this channel. You might be watching and wondering, what did I just watch? What was the difference between all three of those torches? Why not just buy the cheapest one? This is going to be my opinion and what I see firsthand on using these. The one pound propane torch. It does not have that hot of a flame and it's gonna take you a long time to burn a big carving. Also, you're gonna go through these tanks really, really fast. The other thing, this clicker wears out. I've got one in the shop, it wore out. I did buy another and it's getting inconsistent. That's after about a year and a half of use. Now, I probably need to go through, clean this up, clean the nozzle up and it'll probably work fine, 
but that's where I'm at with it right now. Moving on to the Harbor Freight Torch. When I first bought it, I thought it was great. I could burn the whole carving, this big consistent burn. The only thing I noticed is it does not burn super hot. When you're burning, if you can, you guys are able to see well on the bear here, there's a lot of inconsistency in the sense that there's a lot of white markings and only the stuff that stuck out far burns consistently. The inner parts where your saw were to create that fur didn't burn yet, which means you gotta hold it there longer and wait longer and it's gonna take a little longer to burn your entire piece. Now, the upside to this is it hooks to a 20 pound tank, so you got a lot more burn time and it's gonna last longer. It is a great feature when that clicker actually works. You know, you can just click it on and go. So that is a plus side to this. Plus this comes in at being the cheapest torch that I have and the cheapest torch that you'll be looking at when you follow my links. Last, but definitely not least, is that turbo torch. Now this is the most expensive one on the list. I absolutely love it. As you guys can see, it burned really quick. It burns very hot compared to the other two, and it burns very consistently. The back here has very minimal spots that are not burned. Unlike the Harbor Freight Torch, this burns hotter, and so it's able to burn everything, the ins, the outs, the nooks and crannies of the fur, which gives you a really consistent burn. Now with the small nozzle, you'll also be able to get those little spots. You know, Maybe you don't want it as dark, or maybe you want to be able to skip a spot and not burn it. This little nozzle comes in great for that. The other thing as well is it hooks to that propane tank. You get a long burn time. Those tanks last me several, several bears. And so that is a plus side. It's pretty much all I got. Just talking about torches today, comparing the ones that I have, what I use them for, and I hope it's informational for you guys. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit subscribe. And I thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.